Hello Relevant Buildings team. This is uh, one of uh, probably a couple of videos I'm going to be sending along with the uh, updates email I'm getting ready to write up for you guys. Uh, we've made some progress on the items that you guys approve for changes to the website. Uh, one of them you'll see here is a um, gallery panel that's been added to the home page. I will show you how to update these in case I've picked the wrong images and of course you already know I think how to um, Actually, I think you already know how to do this. It's the exact same tool as what's already on the, um, the R models pages. So you just come right here and you can see now that there's this fast gallery and you can click into it. Um, and down here at the bottom, you can you know change the order of these pictures by dragging them around. You can click on this red X to delete and you can come here to add some more. I think the size of this is pretty good as it is, so I don't know if you'd really want any more than nine, again, the whole point of this is to provide some teaser content and get people to click into the website here. Uh, one of the other things we did here on the home page was we've added a um, short code. Uh, the developer Molly has added, uh, created a short code so that you can add models to the front of the site. You'll see that here and also on the archive page, these aren't quite aligning. So I'm going to suggest that we um, make all of these images the same proportions. That way we also avoid this strange hover situation where it's wanting the picture to be this big and we're ending up with a weird stripe over here on the side. So um, let's go ahead and do that. So I already went ahead and I made a new version of this featured image here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the one that's here. I'm going to hit set featured image, come here to upload, Select Files. This is the new one that I made right here. Select that. Go ahead and set that featured image. We'll hit Update. And we'll come here to the home page and refresh. And now you can see we have this improved appearance where everything's in a nice grid. Um, so yeah, I can give you the uh, image size for that. Uh, if you like this, this appearance, uh, that is 800 pixels wide by 450 tall, or whatever is proportional to that. It could, be, could go down to 600 by 338. That would also work. I don't think it could go much smaller than that, though. For the calendar tool, we thought that we were going to be able to use the free version of the plugin uh, to get done what you needed, um, but I don't think it's going to do what you want. We may need to have a quick conversation on that before we decide if we're proceeding or not. Uh, it's not hugely expensive, but it is a cost that I didn't quote you uh, that would be added to your monthly hosting bill. We did also get uh, the updates to the blog feed. Uh, completed. It is now showing on this uh, page called Press 3. Uh, I'll be making you a separate video on um, how to use this more effectively so that you can, you know, put these posts into categories. Um, we've also um, added the ability to add feeds based on categories so that you can, you know, at the end of a page say, uh, put all of the posts related to events here, or put all of the, you know, the three most recent posts related to um, models or whatever it might be, uh, whatever categories you've created. I think that is probably enough for this first video. Uh, I am trying to get this out here before the weekend to you guys so you can see some things. Uh, obviously, I think you already know how to um, update these headlines if you want to, and of course you can drag and drop these uh, rows however you want if we've got them, you know, in the wrong order of importance. Uh, thanks so much.